Good afternoon, everyone. Ansem MTB World coming at you from Windrock Bike Park here in Knoxville, Tennessee. But today's video is not about Windrock. Today's video is about the preparation for tomorrow for Windrock. So today we're doing an upgrade, a little upgrade, on the rain to get it ready for tomorrow. We came here think last year in December and it was just an epic fail and I, I had plenty of recording of it and this is why I didn't make the video oh shit uh, damn it <laughs> again exactly it was just horrible it rained it was cold, winter time, and uh, it just, conditions wasn't favorable. So now, we're out here, we got the spot set up. Got the tent, full runner with the awning, and I'm the only one out here. All right. Well, the little upgrade we're going to be doing today is the rear rotor where I'm changing over to Ice Tech. The RTM800, MT800 Ice Tech rotor. Now, this is for an e bike, so I just thought it looked cool. And I like for it to match my front one as well. And also, we put on, on, on the metallic pads. The H03C metallic brake pads. I put the front rotor on when we was at our race in Canuga. And boy, what a difference it made. So, before we go to Windrock tomorrow, before we go to the trails, we're changing that rotor now. So stay tuned and enjoy. Okay, a couple things you're gonna need for changing out this rotor and the brake pads. A bottom bracket tool. This is a cheap one I got off Amazon. It looks to be stamped aluminum. I'll put a link in the description for you. I used it to do with the front rotor. Worked perfectly, it does what it's supposed to do. I think it was only 10 bucks. Ice Tech rotor and the Shimano H03C pads. And we're gonna get started doing this. First step you wanna do is take your bottom bracket tool, find your lock ring on your wheel. This is your lock ring. Match it up with the splines. And just give it a good twist. It unscrews. You got to twist it counterclockwise. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Remember that. That comes off. I'm going to set that off to the side. I'm going to be sure not to touch this rotor. I don't want to contaminate it with my the oil on my fingers. And if you look, this isn't a traditional six bolt rotor. This one has splines. Shimano free hub body. Splines. No bolts. Super easy. We're gonna open up our our rotor here. Be careful that we don't touch the the rotor and get oil on it off our fingers. And there's the new rotor. Make sure that your rotation is correct. Should have an arrow right here, point to rotation. You want the face out. If yours has holes in the back, holes in it like this, that's the back. You, ain't, you don't want to put that on the front. You don't want this facing out. What you do is just simply put it on the splines like that. Make sure it's on there good. Take your new lock ring, 
came with the rotor and simply thread it on there and I'm just going to hand tighten it and I'm going to come back with my bottom bracket tool line up the splines now, I don't have a torque wrench so some of y'all might beat me up for that but I'm just going to feel for 40 newton meters 40 newton meters done I did this same technique with the front rotor, no problems. Now we're done, we're done installing the rotor. That is it, super easy, no bolts, no mess. Just, now we got to clean up and now we're going to install the brake pads. Okay, now that we've got the tire back on, the wheel back on. Uh, tighten up the nuts on the caliper and then we're gonna go bed the pads in you have to do that with new pads that way I really don't know why I can't explain it there's a scientific reason behind why you need to bed the pads in has something to do with getting heat transfer in the pad material and it grabbing better. I don't know. So I'm going to show y'all how we're going to bed the pads in. All right, now we're going to go for a little ride on the bike to bed these brake pads in. Now what you want to do, when you're going down, we're either just riding on a flat surface, take whichever pad you just bedded it and you just uh, changed and hold down the brake lever just slightly, just enough to where you get a little resistance in pedaling. And do that for as long as you can. And you'll feel the pad start grabbing more, grabbing more, grabbing more and eventually you get harder and harder to pedal. There's a pretty good hill right here. So I should get some, some good speed and be able to do it all in one, one set. Ever so slightly holding the brake. I'm gonna climb this hill. All right, turkeys. And then we're gonna go back down it. This time I'm gonna get a little speed up and hit the brake at the bottom. But what you don't wanna do is lock up the brakes. Look at that view. Such a pretty place. And that about does it for bedding in the pad. All right, let's go back to camp. All right, y'all, so that was the video on the brakes. Brake, rear brake, and rotor. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, if you would consider 
subscribing, like, share, comment. Let me know if I did something wrong. Let me know if I did something right. And if any of y'all have noticed, um, the rain has underwent a slew of cosmetic surgery. I don't know if you can tell, you know, but it's a whole nother color with some topography art in gold on the top tube. Let's just look at it for a minute. You got gold, lyric, but more on that in another video. I'll give you the whole layout of what I did to it and why. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Have a good one.